Hi y'all, how you doing? So today I'm gonna be taking you through my morning skincare routine and a super quick and easy mommy makeup look. So let's just jump right into it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, so we're gonna jump in with the Physician's Formula Double Cleansing Oil. I use two pumps of this all over the face and I just go ahead and rub it in for like 45 to 60 seconds and then rinse it off. So for the video, I did like every single step but I will say obviously on the crazier busier mornings when I have less time I obviously do less steps so I will tell you where I kind of cut corners on those days as we go throughout the video this cleansing oil rinses off so quick and easy that is part of the reason I love it and it doesn't strip my skin either I have really really dry skin so all of my skincare and the makeup look is going to be centered around that and I'm going to put my contact in and go in with some Vanny cream. I know that this isn't cruelty free, but I'm just trying to use it up. My dermatologist actually prescribed this to me because I had a really crazy eczema breakout after I gave birth. It was so weird. So I take about half a pump all over the face and then I go in with the e.l.f. hydrating water essence. Now on a super quick day where I have like no time, I'll do just the Vanny cream or the vanity cream and this and then just walk away because that's all I have time for. I take about five drops of the rosehip oil and I should be pressing all of this stuff into my skin but oh, I'm just in the worst habit of rubbing my face. Do as I say, not as I do. Pat your skincare in. Then I'm going in with Enchanted Eye Cream from Lush. I love this for the morning. It's super, super hydrating without being really, really thick. I like that part of it. It's so thin and it just soaks right in so it doesn't interfere with any makeup that you're going to put on right afterwards. So then I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth and give that skincare a second to soak in and then I feel, I kind of just move my face around and feel if I need a little bit of extra moisture. Most times I do and when I do need that or want that, I will just go in with another half a pump of the Vanny Cream and put that right on top. If you have any cruelty-free suggestions for like a really good day cream that you like that's cruelty-free, like I said, definitely let me know because I need to get one as soon as I'm out of the Vanny Cream. So then we put on some lip balm and I do change my shirt and put on some deodorant and stuff. Obviously, I never brush my hair, but hey, nobody's perfect, okay? <laughs> so then we're going in with the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in the Cucumber Scent. I am definitely a cucumber melon type of person. Did y'all see that meme going around that was like, you're either warm vanilla sugar or cucumber melon? Well, I'm a cucumber melon person, in case you were wondering. Then we're going in with the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows BB Cream. Tinted moisturizer, BB cream. So they're the same thing taking a Real Techniques buffing brush and just buffing this all in. I recently talked about this in a favorites video. I love this stuff. It is light coverage because it is a BB cream, but it's enough to kind of freshen me up, cover up the redness, cover up the veins because I'm really pale, so the veins really show through. Covers that stuff up enough for me. Then I'm going in with Charisma Skin Tint from Lush. If I'm like super, super in a pinch and I put BB cream on and all that and I want to add like a little bit of depth to my skin. I will use this as like a bronzer blush combo and call it a day for the skin from there. But today I'm just using it as a bronzer because I had the time we're going in with a couple other things on top of this. So just a bronzer contour situation, hitting those cheekbones, hitting the forehead and like the temple area and just kind of working that in. Then I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona Love Glow Palette. I love this thing. I did a whole video about it, so I will link that down below. I also really like the e.l.f. monochromatic multi-purpose stick, I think it's called. I have the shade Glistening Peach. I love that as a cream blush. It is so great, and both of them have a really awesome staying power, which is exactly what I look for on a day like this. Same brush, just using both of the creams from that Natasha Denona palette, and I go ahead and just start pressing that in as well. I try to press a lot, for my makeup, especially on a no makeup makeup type of look because I feel like it makes it look more natural and more like your skin. Then just cleaning up underneath because I tend to get a little bit wild with <laughs> the bronzer and the blush. I, most of the time I do take it down too low, so I just gotta clean that up. Then I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Cream Highlight. I love this with the fingers, like warm this up on the fingers. Ugh, 
so, so beautiful. I don't remember the shade name, but I'll put it down below. And I just put that right on the tippy top of my cheekbones and on the brow bone and just call it a day. The Goodness Glows is like glowy enough for the rest of my face, so I don't feel like I need to put it anywhere else. Then going in with the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder, Professional clean loose powder yeah this is in the shade light translucent it does have a tiny incy teensy bit of color to it this part is the only part that isn't super travel friendly because it is a loose powder but I haven't had any problems I've done this makeup in the car many times obviously not while I'm driving while somebody else is driving but yeah that's the only thing that is in this routine that isn't super travel friendly if you're doing your makeup on like a bus or a train or in a car like while you're not driving then i'm going in with the elf brow gel in dark and i'm just going to kind of fill in the brows on a super no makeup makeup day i'll use clear brow gel and just mascara and lip balm and call it a day do nothing else when i have a little bit of some some on my face i do like to use a tinted one just to kind of I don't know, I feel like get everything on the same level of makeupness, if that makes sense. So sometimes I do just put on the brow gel and leave it there. I will go in with a pencil later on this particular occasion, but nothing too crazy. So while that gel is drying down in my eyebrows, I'll do the first coat of mascara using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Cult Classic. This has been a fave since high school. I totally love this stuff. It is so foolproof and it just saves you a few extra seconds if you do your mascara while your brow gel or something else is kind of setting or drying and you're not just sitting there like twiddling your thumbs waiting for something like every minute is precious so we gotta we gotta do something else while something's drying okay then while that first coat of mascara is drying I'm going to go in with the elf brow pencil they have a few different brow things and a couple different brow pencils this is like the two dollar brow pencil in neutral brown I love this on a quick day because I really just need to help out like the tail end of my brow so I just kind of extend the brow and fill in that tail end of it and it's so quick with this brow pencil it's not too thick that you're gonna have like a thick chunky brow mess but it's not so thin that it takes like years and years and years to get your brows filled in it's the perfect thickness and creaminess to just do it super quick no fuss no mess nothing too complicated about it at all just give myself a little tail and move on I don't really care about them being exactly symmetrical or perfect then I'm going to go in with a second layer of mascara on the top and then I just do one layer on the bottom because I have really long bottom lashes and I feel like it looks really weird if I do more than one coat when I have no eyeshadow on. That's me being dramatic but that is the truth. So I do like to use the Natasha Denona and the e.l.f. blush on my lips as well. I also have the e.l.f. candy crush lip bombs tinted lip balms from Christmas but today I'm going to use the physician's formula one that I have talked about in the past but I don't think I've used it on camera so I put it on like right in the center and then I kind of blend it out for that blotted lip effect obviously if I'm in a hurry I'll literally just slap this stuff on but if I really want to be like all Instagram bougie model I woke up like this about it I'll put it right on the center and then kind of blend it out like a blotted lip effect and I was watching the cows and like totally mess everything up but yeah there was cows right outside the window so then I'm going in with the NYX this is everything lip oil I actually went in I have two of them I have the original and then I have one with a pink tint to it I went in with the pink tinted one I really love these because they look like a lip gloss on your lips, but they moisturize like the best lip balm you've ever tried in your life. So if you have super dry lips like I do, like perpetually cracked nasty lips, this might be the thing for you. I love this stuff. And I couldn't believe I got my Natasha Denona palette out and then did not use the powder highlight. Like what, what was I thinking? So <laughs> obviously that's not something I do all the time since I like completely forgot it. But yeah, I just thought I would use that puppy, just hit the top of those cheekbones, give a little extra glow like I even needed it. And then I go in with the Wet n Wild setting pa uh, powder, Jesus. Then I go in with the Wet n Wild setting spray also in the cucumber scent, of course and I use my little fan to dry me off and that is me done so hopefully you guys like this video found it helpful my super quick and easy like mom morning routine but this isn't just for moms it's for anybody who doesn't have a lot of time in the morning or you're getting ready in a car or on the bus or on the subway or anything like that it's just super quick and easy it makes you look really fresh 
without looking too makeup-y and too, it's like not too hard. Like you could do this with one eye closed most days. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it really helps me out. Also consider subscribing, girl. Follow me on Instagram, that'll be down below as well as all of the products that I use today. So yeah, I think that is all I have to say. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye. Thank you.